You want to create a text that looks exactly like this for your edits so they finally go viral and you don't flop anymore? Well, don't worry because today we'll show you step by step everything you need to know about it and how we can do it in After Effects. Well, first of all, we obviously have to import a clip into our After Effects that we can work with. In my case, I choose one from Batman. And the first step we obviously have to do is add a new text layer. And doing that is pretty straightforward in After Effects. Just head to the top row and select the text icon. Now you should see that the character panel in the right corner opened up. This just gives you the ability to change certain values of your phone. For example, the text size, width, and everything like that. But don't worry about these now. We're gonna add them later. And now to actually add the text, you only have to click on the screen and then while using your keyboard, type what your character is saying. In my case, I want to put the text into two lines. So this is what it's going to look like. And obviously what you can tell by looking at the text right now, this doesn't look good at all. And now is the time where we want to change the values that we have in our character panel to make this look way better. And to actually have the changes apply to our text, we first of all have to make sure to select all of the text. Once you've done that, head to the character panel. And the first thing I want to do is set the font size. Mine is currently set at 150 pixels, which you can see is way too big. So I'm just going to decrease this value. Next, the text is a bit too stretched versus Vertically. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the vertical scale and put it from 115% to the normal 100%. And last but not least, I obviously don't want my whole text to be red. So I'm going to go ahead to this box and instead of red, select the white color. Press OK and it should apply all the steps to your text. Now the position of the text doesn't really matter yet because we're going to later make a track onto our character's face. The next very important thing though is the text effects that we put on the text. Because as you can see, the text doesn't look unique at all at the moment. You could do this exact text within 20 seconds using CapCut. And obviously we don't want to be like CapCut editor, so we're going to put some nice effects on it. So open your effects and presets panel on the right and search for the effect called deep glow. Drag it onto your text layer. And as you can see, this is a lot of glow. So we're now going to go ahead and adjust the settings to our liking. In my case, I don't want the glow to be spread that much. So I'm going to go ahead, select the radius and put the value from 500 down to 300. Next, it's still way too bright. You can't even identify the single characters. So I'm going to go ahead and put the exposure from one down to 0.4. As you can see, now the text already looks way better. As you can see, you can now identify what the text actually says. So that's already a huge step towards the right direction. But to put the sherry on top we're also going to use a drop shadow so we're going to go ahead to our effects and presets panel again but this time search for drop shadow instead again drag it onto the same layer and now put the opacity from 50 up to 100 the distance we're going to put from 5 to 7 and the softness from 0 to 5 so because our text is just floating there we're going to add some animations making it fade in out and add overall movement because at the moment it just looks like our text is suicidal and now the animation i'm going to use for this tutorial is this cool fade up text animation which will basically just make all of the words fade up one by one but know that there's a lot of other presets that you can use as well for example the slow fade on or blur by word it just depends on what you want to do for your edit and what looks best in your opinion now as you might have thought we're going to go into our effects and presets panel again and this time we're going to search for fade up words watch out once you found the animation preset don't drag it onto your layer yet because we have to put our time indicator at that place in time where our character starts speaking and if you have troubles finding that exact spot there's no problem because there's an easy way to do it just click onto the layer of your clip that has the audio containing the character speaking which in my case is this bottom one and then press l twice as you can see this will bring up the waveform and you can now tell by looking at the spikes that you see where the audio drops out and where the character essentially starts speaking which as you can see in my case the character starts speaking around here because you can tell that the graph is rising after that so now once you figure that out it's time to add your fade up words effect so just drag it onto the layer now doing this will automatically make your text disappear why is that because it will add two keyframes to your layer in order to put the actual animation one of the keyframes is going to place at zero the other one at 100 and the one at zero is going to declare the start of your animation meaning where you want your text to be zero percent faded up now the second one with the value 100 obviously is then going to declare the end of it where you want your text to be 100% spoke and in order to make it fit to our clip now we're going to have to adjust our keyframes so click onto your text layer press U on your keyboard to bring them up and now listen to how the character is speaking and then adjust the keyframes as you can see it doesn't match for me right now because my character stops speaking around here but now when you play our clip we're going to notice that it's completely out of sync the actual words are fading up before the character is speaking them and that's due to the simple break that the character is making right here as you can see there's no spark therefore he's not speaking and to now fix that we're just going to go ahead to where he starts speaking again and then adjust this value till we can only see the first word being faded up which in my case is just going to be about 33 percent obviously because we have three words and now when you look at it you should see that you have three different keyframes and when you play the clip now you can see that it's all synced up now once we added the fading in it's also time to add the fading out because we obviously don't want our text to just disappear out of nowhere that's not the way of us we certainly have more class and now to edit we're going to click onto our layer and press t on our keyboard as you can see it now says opacity right here i'm going to click for a keyframe that's set at 100 percent shortly before our text ends now i'm going to go to the end where we want our text to be fully faded out again and i'm going to click on this value and put the amount from 100 down to zero as you can see it now disappeared and if you play the clip you can 
see that it is slowly fading out. Now it wouldn't be me if I didn't have some cool secrets that you can apply to this text to make it look even better. So buckle up and be ready because we're about to get into some real stuff. And first of all, to get rid of the stiffness, we're gonna add the increased tracking effect, which is also just an animation preset that will basically increase the space between your characters. So go to your effects and presets panel and search for increased tracking. Once you found that, drag your time indicator to the very beginning of your timeline or your text and then add the animation preset. And you should see these two keyframes, which are already easy ease. And now by pressing down alt and selecting both of them, we can just drag them ahead to the end where we want our text to be finished. And now when you play the clip, you can see that the space between the characters is increasing. But for me, this is way too much. So I'm going to go to the last keyframe and put the tracking amount from 40 down to 10. Now what value you put here, again, it's just going to be dependent on what edit you want to do and what you think looks best. I always like to use something low so it's not too exaggerated. Now adding this preset is also going to be a big cure for the cap cuttiness because from what I've noticed having your edit look like a cap cut edit it's just automatically going to make your edit more choppy and make you miss beat drops. So definitely watch out for that. Now to have this text follow his face we're going to add a tracker and don't worry this might sound hard but it's completely easy. Just double click onto the base clip where you put your text on and it should open a dedicated window that looks like this. Now to add a tracker obviously we're going to open the tracker panel and which type you use is pretty important and our scenario we're going to go for track motion. Once you click that, you can see that there's two little squares appearing once you zoom in. Well, actually, they're not even that small. It's pretty average in my opinion. But we're going to make them a bit bigger. So just click onto them and then increase the size just like this. And we're going to put this center square onto a spot on his face that's easy to track. In most of the cases, it's going to be his nose because it's constantly moving when he's moving his head. So just go ahead and you can drag and drop it. It's on his nose. Now to have it analyze the whole clip, we're going to go ahead to the right and under analyze, select this analyze forward button. Click that and then wait a bit till it's analyzed your whole clip. Note that tracking a face can take up some time, especially if your PC is not running that fast. But hey, at least we don't edit on mobile. So don't be worried if it takes a bit longer, that's totally normal. And once you're done, it should look something like this, which means that you have fully tracked the character's face. Now what you want to watch out for is single frames that didn't get tracked correctly. This is not going to happen all the time, but it definitely does happen. You can usually recognize them by them just being completely off. If that's the case, don't worry, just zoom in and then manually drag it back. Okay, so now to have it actually track our face, we're gonna have to go ahead and edit the target that we have under our tracker. So just click on that and choose the text layer that you wanna track onto the face. In my case, it's just this. Press OK, go to the right and hit apply. Now it's gonna ask you for what dimension you wanna apply the tracker in. And it will let you choose from X and Y, X only and Y only. You wanna choose X and Y and then press OK. Putting only X would just mean that it would only track the face when it's moving horizontally. And putting it only Y would just make it track the face whenever it moves vertically. And because we want both, we're gonna put X and Y. And now when you play the clip, you should see that you have an awesome text effect, which doesn't just distinguish you from CapCut editors, looks awesome, will get you a lot of followers, and is extremely easy to make. And if you don't want to get some of these cool, awesome text effects, make sure to check out the first thing in the description because you can still get them on my shop for way cheaper. There's actually currently a 70% sale going on. So click on that, check it out, and don't miss the offer. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and also leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. And if you're looking for a nice editing environment where you can just chill, hang out with other editors, or ask for advice, Make sure to check out the link in the description. It's a direct link to my Discord server, where a huge community of editors who just help each other all day. You can get free theme packs, overlays, or just talk to me. I'm sure we'll be seeing you on there. Click on this video if you want to learn how to make some advanced text effects. I sincerely thank you for watching, and see you next time.